very much, uh, Richard. How do you feel about yeah. it all? Thank you. I, I support everything that my colleagues have, have, have said, and, and we're very much, as, as poultry meat, very much in the perishable goods just-in-time supply chain. And we're, we've very quickly found that a, a trading system that, that perhaps works for trade to the other side of the world was never designed for a just-in-time and perishable system. Um, I think from our, my members' perspectives, we've had four impacts and all of them amount to cost added to the system. The first is what I, I'm not gonna downplay it, but what I hope is temporary, the wrong colored stamp, the rejections going through border control posts, loads being having to be disposed of. We hope that guidance and interpretation becomes consistent over the, uh, the, the coming weeks and months sooner rather than later. As companies have tried to get to grips with the new processes, the, what is hidden in there is the amount of resource and cost that they've had to put in additionally to the previous system um, to actually deal with that. That's people on the ground, the certification, the documentation, the liaison from the customs agents to in-house vets. The third concern that I think we've, we're only just starting to run up against has already been mentioned about the vets, but there's a broader issue there, I think, about whether the UK government has committed sufficient resources, infrastructure and logistically, to deal with the ongoing both export and the, in, the imminent requirements for imports. Um, and the last area, and this definitely hasn't worked its way through the system yet, is because we're seeing um, product that has a value as an export product being destroyed. So it loses all of its value. That's, that's, that's a cost element and it's also a food waste element. So that impact will have to emerge somewhere in our supply chain. Um, and it's not clear yet where that added cost will ultimately emerge. So it's not a very bright story. Can I ask each of you very quickly, um, do you feel that the issues that have arisen are basically temporary ones that, as people are saying, is it just a bit of teething trouble or are these going to be long-term issues that you're going to be faced with as far as forward as we can see? I'll start with you, Richard, and then work back the other way again. I'm going to make a plea for the brief answers. Thank you. Yes, um, there, there will be systemic problems that are that will be ongoing that need serious addressing to solve things like vets. Yeah, Terry. 